Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, so today I'm here with a Smushy Mushy Mini. Um, so I unboxed one of these on my channel before. Um, they're a little bit hard to get here in the UK. Um, I have got two of them now off Amazon. They're like eight pound each on Amazon, which I think is very overpriced because I think they're only like five dollars or something in America. Um, but they are on Amazon UK if you know you wanted to get them there. And sometimes I have seen them crop up a bit on eBay, so I managed to get a little bundle on eBay. Um, so I think I'm very close to completing my set now, but I'm just going to do some videos on each one so we can have a close look at them. Um, so yeah, so we're going to open this one up today. So I've already taken the plastic wrap off. Now, if you want to know a way to actually find out which one it is, if you can get access to these in stores, which I'm really jealous of you guys out there which can, um, there is a little hack. So while they're still in the cellophane, you can look at the back here and it might be hard to see, but you can see a little bit of the colour sticking through, which will tell you which one you have. Um, so with this one here, you can see we've got hot pink trim at the edge and then it's yellow, I think, on the outside. Um, and I think the yellow one, if you look up pictures online of like the different backgrounds, I think the yellow one is Lolly Lamb's shopping spree. So this should be the lamb one. Um, so I've got three here, which I think are duplicates. So I have one here, which I believe is Kaylee Kitty. So you can see this is all in cellophane. Um, and at the back, once again, it's kind of hard for me to show on camera, but there's a bit of hot pink and then a very pale pink, which is Kaylee Kitty's background. And then I have a spare Bitsy Bunny one. So I will be opening my own one in the future, but this is just one I have spare. Um, and once again, somewhere at the back, just along the side here, we can see it's a lot of hot pink and then a bit of blue, which is Bitsy Bunny. And then uh, another Lolly Lamb, which we should be opening today. Once again, you can see the pink and the yellow. So it's very hard. You can see it a lot better in person, but that's just a little hack there. But I am selling those free if you'd be interested in those because they would be duplicates for me. Um, but anyway, let's get on with this one today. I will link my previous video down below. I'll probably make a little playlist for these if you want to see my other ones I unbox. But yeah, I've already removed the tape and stuff, so let's just open it up. So open here. So the design, by the way, is super cute on these. I love this here. It's a bit annoying with that big sticker there. Um, but they are very cute. And then all the different ones on the back there. Okay, so yeah, so we have got Lolly Lamb because you can see inside it's hot pink and yellow. So if you look for that in that back right corner. So we have a little sign here, fresh is best. So I really like that, that's really cute. I love the fruit and the little lamp here. Love the little pink front door and it's like there's um, baskets of oranges, I think those are. That's really cute. And um, the other side is quite plain, but there is like a little design of apples there. And then if we unfold this, we get like a little bit of greenery, a little bit of grass there. And then we can see the back of our scene here. So we have got like a little grocery shop. It looks really cute. It looks like they specialize in fruit and stuff. So we have a couple of signs on the wall. So it says cashier over there and we can see our little cash desk, which is really, really cute there. And then at the back we have oranges, apples, watermelons, peppers, carrots, and aubergines, really cool. I like most of those things. I'm not a fan of aubergines, but the rest I love. Um, and then it looks like we have some tins and stuff at the top, a couple of baskets, um, super sale it says over on this side now. And then we have like a little fridge and what's in the fridge there? Looks like some eggs, some cartons of water, possibly milk, stuff like that. So that's really cute. So I love this little grocery store. I'm not a massive fan of these bits here, personally for me, and even like the grass, I usually cut all the bits off. I do like these, but for display, I kind of just like to have it. So it's literally just those two side bits. Even these little tabs at the top, I usually cut those off so I can just sort of see in a little bit. And that's really cool. I've just spotted that. There's even on the ceiling there, we have a little pattern of all that fruit. That's really cute. So I do like this one. I love that it's all like fruit and veg and obviously like vegan and stuff. That's really cute. And then here's our big blind bag with all of our little pieces in. So let's open this up now and see what we have. So in the first one, we have this little shopping basket. So this is really, really cute. Nice bright colours. It reminds me of like McDonald's actually, which is kind of the opposite to buying fresh, nice, healthy food. Um, it says smushy shop. I don't know if you can see that's probably not going to come up on camera but there is like a little logo of that there and then it does look like there's a little pattern on it of like almost like diamonds or something that's really cute i like that here is definitely the best bit of all we have our little lolly lamb she is so cute 
Oh my gosh, I absolutely love her. Squishes pretty nicely. I find that um, these squishes, probably because they're quite small, they're not as slow rise as the bigger ones. But to be honest, I don't really like to squish them. I don't want to like ruin them too much, but they are so incredibly cute. Has a slight sweet scent. They are still a little bit scented, so I really like that. I love her little headband. She always reminds me of like, sort of like a vintage style, like 50s or something. But yeah, and her little face, it's just so simple and cute. Really love her, she's adorable. And then we have this massive loaf of bread. So it's really cute, it has a little face here. In some ways, these kind of remind me of, um, was it Shopkins Happy Places, I think it is. I don't really have any of those, but I've seen them and they always have like the accessories and the furniture always have little faces. So similar to that. And then on the side, we can see actually the lines for the different slices. So that's really cute. Next one, we have a carton of milk. So hopefully this would be a little vegan shop and this would be a plant-based milk, would be nice. Very, very cute. And then we have this little phone or possibly even a tablet. And this is really cute. I love the little cover. And then on the other side, it does look like a, maybe it's like an iPad or something. That's really cute. Because I suppose to the size of her, that would be like iPad size. So that's really adorable. So maybe she can take orders on that or restock her products on this. And then our last thing, it looks like a little box of cereal. So I think it's called Lollios. So this looks like a kind of Cheerio style cereal with the little rings. You can see them actually pouring out of the top there. That looks really cute. So like pink cereal. And these are all hard plastics. All the accessories are hard plastic and then it's just the squishy that's soft. So this is incredibly cute. So I'm gonna try pop her and the accessories in this little scene now. So here we go, it's a little bit dark, but you can see I've put the items in the basket and then um, Lolly's just there kind of on the iPad. So I think that's really cute. And obviously these can be set up numerous different ways to display. But yeah, I really like this one. Um, the only thing, I think the basket is a little bit strange because of how big it is, especially compared to the little character. Um, so that doesn't really fully make sense to me. This basket might even work well with like my hair adorables or something because it seems very big for her. Um, but then I suppose to put like the food in and stuff, it is a good size. But yeah, I really love like miniature foods and stuff. So I think this one is really, really cute. Absolutely love this character. She's probably my favorite so far. Um, so I much prefer her to the pug. I just think she's a lot cuter and I love how pink she is. But yeah, I really, really love this scene. I'll try and take some extra little pictures just to show you it kind of set up in different ways. Um, and I'll insert them now. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. So thank you so much for watching this video today and um, please like if you enjoyed seeing this unboxing and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Like I said, I will be having a playlist of these so I can unbox all the different ones. And so I do have these free spares, all brand new sealed. So if you are looking for a Kaylee Kitty, Bitsy Bunny or Lolly Lamb yourself, um, then do let me know. You can message me on Instagram. That's at creativity from imagination. Um, I'm looking for probably about six pounds for each one. So just like a little bit less than what they would be on Amazon. But yeah, that's just an option if anybody's looking for specific ones or whatever. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye!